hope it will be inspirational and motivational. Once again, I truly want to acknowledge every single person here for taking the time and making the effort to walk in solidar solidarity, <laughs> get it right, Lennox, with us. <laughs> this march offers a platform and an opportunity to send out a message on behalf of millions of women and girls around the globe who are denied the opportunities and privileges we enjoy so very often and take for granted. The message is as follows. On this Mothering Sunday, please be aware that 60% of the world's working women are living in poverty. That in the so-called developing world, a woman dies needlessly every 90 seconds through complications of pregnancy or childbirth. That 30 to 50% of women have suffered violence at the hands of a male partner. That at least 200 million girls and women alive today have been subjected to female genital mutilation. And that globally, HIV AIDS is the leading cause of death of women of reproductive age. These are only a handful of the totally outrageous and absolutely unacceptable facts. The list of abuse and injustice against women and girls around the world is endless. So often I have to ask myself why these facts seem to be so invisible and why it seems to be so challenging to galvanize a collective voice and collective action to create lasting and effective change. Why are these issues so rarely addressed in the pages of newspapers and magazines? Why are social attitudes and political institutions so incapable of addressing the need to change these appalling injustices? In our comfort bubble, the Western world seems to have a sense of entitlement and amnesia. Most of us are completely unaware of the basic global facts. And this is why I am honoured to be part of the launch of Care International's Walk in Her Shoes. Through taking part in the march today, we are helping Care International to provide clean water in communities so that women and girls can live, learn, earn and thrive. So I honour you all for coming here today and being part of this wonderful event. In this way, we can all become global feminist ambassadors for a fairer and more equitable world. Thank you very much, my friends.